A new hotline for mental health emergency set to launch soon. Just three digits, 988, an alternative to 911. Advocates, however, fear many states aren't ready to handle the expected explosion in calls. NBC's Kate Snow explains. This is the only call center in all of South Carolina. Correct. There used to be four centers answering mental health calls in South Carolina. I know you mentioned that there was no self-harm. Now there's just one, Mental Health America in Greenville. I hear how heavy is weighing on you. Jennifer Piver, who runs the center, says between 80 and 100 people contact them every day. You know, a big part of what we do is just allow people to feel how they're feeling and to let them feel heard. In July, a new crisis number, 988, is launching nationally to help with the growing mental health crisis. South Carolina is even putting the number on student IDs for 7th graders and up. People are going to know it. And that's exciting to think that the stigma might wash away as well. But they're also expecting an exponential increase in calls as soon as it goes live. Are you ready for 988? No, we don't have the funds for operational staff yet. In a room filled with stations, only a handful are being used. When 988 launches, calls they can't take here will be bounced to other parts of the country. Our concern is that the youth won't wait to be transferred, or that someone who's done something to end their life, like taken the pills, that they would die because we can't get them routed to the emergency services that they need. Fast enough. Exactly. Near Greenville, Becky Kay lost her son to suicide and now has a family member struggling with mental health issues. She and her family have called 911 about 30 times seeking help. And often, she says, it did more harm than good. One officer's response to her family member has stuck with her. They said, son, you're going to hell. What you need to do is find a good charge. What did you think when you heard that? You know how you feel when you get sick at your stomach and you feel it rising? I felt that and horrified. The federal law leaves it up to states to figure out how to pay for 988. 30, including South Carolina, have not yet passed legislation. Only 19 have set aside money for 988, including Washington State. We've been adding phone staff, chat staff, tech staff. We're currently recruiting for around um, 30 people. We've already hired, you know, 20 plus people. In South Carolina, they're still looking for a sponsor for legislation to help fund 988. What would you say to your lawmakers here in South Carolina? Oh, for heaven's sake, please, if this was in your family, if you only knew the horrors, how desperately we do need that to save a life. Three digits that can help do that. Crisis line. As long as someone's there to take the call. Kate Snow, NBC News, Greenville, South Carolina.